Hello, I'm Will Peebles, and I'm a reporter and photographer at Savannah Morning News, and I'm joined today by Gemma Castiglione. Did I say that right? Castiglione. Castiglione. But yeah, Castiglione. You're close enough. I tried to overpronounce it. It's okay. No worries. <laughs> and we're here at Sulphur Studios, mm -hmm. and uh, Gemma, kind of, you can explain it better than I can. What, what exactly do you do here? I, specifically, this very large, strange-looking camera. Well, you have my baby in the picture, but yeah, um, I'm still doing tintype photography, which is um, an older school type of photography where it involves um, taking a metal plate and it's tin, tin plate because it's tin type, and I coat it in something called collodion, which is a mixture of ether and alcohol, and that's kind of the, probably the strongest chemical that I work with in the process. And then from there, I go into a dark room, I insert that into silver nitrate, which makes the collodion and the plate itself light sensitive, and then I come out, I snap the picture, I develop it, fix it, and then we come up with the final image. So, so like alchemy, you're just yeah, it's kind of, <laughs> mixing yeah, chemicals. It does make and... you feel like a chemist sometimes, yes. It's pretty great. It's, that, a, it's a fun feeling. That's that's really neat. So tell me a little bit. I, I don't know a great deal about film photography as right. a whole. Like, I've taken film pictures before, mm -hmm. but this is different than that. This is much different. Because I'm used to, you know, you get the sure. film. You, as a kid, we'd, like, buy it from Walmart and then just, like, stretch it out and everything. So is that is it similar? It's not. So with the type of film that you're talking about, the image that you get is negative. And so whenever you scan it, or whoever's scanning it for you, they invert it, um, and then it turns into a positive image. With this process, the image actually turns out positive in the end, and so it, um, it does, it's inverted in the developing stage, but whenever you fix it, you'll see the entire image shift, and then um, all the things will be inverted, and it'll come out as a positive image. Okay, gotcha. That so, makes sense. so how do you how do you get into something like this? How, how old? It's kind of to start with. This is an old camera, right? It's actually not that old. This is a field camera, so it's meant for um, four by five, like negative film, not like a tin type film. Um, I just happen to have the correct holder that fits this and does my tin type. Um, the whole process is mainly based, or it comes out of like the eighteen hundreds. So it actually started kind of around the Civil War era is where you'll, you're, you'll see like a lot of the first tin types. And um, the, its precursor was actually the ambryotype, which is on a glass plate, um, but it's still positive image. You just view it against uh, like a black velvet. And that's a really cool process as well. Um, and pretty similar to the tin type. Um, yeah. That's pretty neat. Yeah, so, so how did you get started with all this? Well, yeah, sorry, I didn't even answer your question. You're fine. Um, so I got started about two years ago. I was taking a photo history class, and I was taking it online. And so I was kind of, like the teacher was just like, find an older process that you want to experiment. Most of the people in the class chose to do cyanotypes, which is a really common, pretty easy, um, like older type of photography. And I was like, no, 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 I'm going to try something really, really hard. And so... I was doing tin types out of the back of my car because this was back home where I live in Alabama and so I didn't have access to a dark room. So, and I wanted to do like landscape stuff. And so the whole process, you have to take the picture within like five minutes of coating the plate and everything. Oh wow. Um, so yeah, it's pretty like quick. You gotta be on your feet. And so it, that just turned into me doing it out of the back of my car. Um, it, I had some, you know, rough instances where I, um, the chemicals didn't really, uh, to work with me, but for the most part, it was pretty fun. I did it on a toy camera, a Holga, if you know what that is, and it was kind of like a one inch or one and a half inch by one and a half inch plate. Um, so there is a lot smaller format. So that's why I really enjoy this whole residency because I'm getting a larger format, more experience, like a nice, nicer camera. I have the dark room here. It's going a lot better than it did out of the back of my car. <laughs> That's yeah. still kind of a cool story. Yeah, it just... is fun to tell because people are like, oh, how'd you get into this? I'm back of my car. Well, you know, I, started, I started developing 200-year-old yeah, style exactly. photographs in the right. back of my car. <laughs> exactly. So you, you mentioned the residency. Uh, it's here at Sulphur Studios. What yes. exactly does it entail? What do you, what do, you do here? Basically, um, so the people that have followed me before in this residency, there's been um, like a, sh a shoemaker. There's been like jewelry artists. The lady before me actually was a collage artist. And the whole residency is a lot about your process and whatever you're going through to create the art that you make. So actually for my final show, um, over time I've kind of decided this is how I wanna view the, the art, but I'm gonna have it up um, displayed in chronological order so you can kind of see my progress um, over the entire month. Since like my first couple ones were still pretty rough, but I'd say like even though I'm only two weeks in, um, I've 
like I'm definitely getting a lot better even than I was, you know, two years ago, much less like a week ago. So it's all about the process. That's like a huge thing about the residency. And I think I, I definitely am gonna accomplish that when I, you see everything up on the wall at the end in a week or so. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds really exciting. So a couple of weeks still, um, can people just walk in the door and be like, hey, Will you take my picture? <laughs> um, I am totally down to do that. I actually only have a few slots open still, though. Um, sometimes people go a lot faster. I've been finding that the whole process takes around 30 to 45 minutes. But um, sometimes I'm just sitting here. And so, yeah, if they see me sitting, of course, come on in. <laughs> I'd love to take your picture. <laughs> So. We, have, we will get you guys links for that and put them in the description. But today, uh, yes. you have agreed to take uh, my photo as well as yeah. Zach's photo, and I'm pretty excited about mm -hmm. that. So, um, yeah, you guys get to see the process firsthand if you want to come right. stop by. So, yeah. I guess let's, let's do it. Let's okay. get to it. Sounds yeah. good. Yeah. So, I've decided to wear for my portrait today this uh, wonderful cape. It's not actually a cape. It's like some kind of weird snuggy thing that my mom bought me for Christmas. Uh, thank you, Mother, for this. It's it's going to a good cause today. Can you what? Blink. You can get away with like one or two blinks, but okay. try not to. <laughs> okay. Okay, so back in your headrest. Feeling confident? Mm -hmm. Cool. <laughs> okay. Like I said, 20 to 30 seconds. You got this. Ready? Like a, like a, uh, like, like, Henry, like a Christmas pad. Yeah, like something. <laughs> <laughs> it it kind of looks like uh, the depictions you see of all the old yeah. British kings. Yeah.